All right, in the last video, we've learned how to uh, install Tailwind and create a website like this. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create and design a website like this by using Tailwind. I have used Figma to design the layout of the website over here and I will put the link down below so you can download it. All right. Uh, the last time, we have to save two time in order to uh, refresh this page on web browser. So I have a little setting that you can do in order to save only one time to refresh the websites on web browser. All right, just click on over here. You just go to extension and click on live server and then click on extension setting and click check over here live server setting full reload so to tell is to reload css every time we save you have to do this and you can close close and then close the projects and you can reopen the projects again okay i will reopen the projects again and you have to make sure all the time that you code tailwind you have to run this command to recompile Tailwind, okay? All right, let's get started. So let's take a look at the layout over here. We have company logo over here and we have menu over here. All right, let's create it. I'm going to remove this one. So we are going to get started with navbar, right? So I won't put any CSS yet i'm going to put uh, html first okay html and then we have div and next i need a uh, logo determine next i need another div for menu okay li and a tag href or nothing and then we need home menu okay let's take a look more we need home course block and about okay this is for logo and this is for menu I'm going to copy this one and put this down below here we need this for courses of course and block and then about okay all right, let's take a look at, uh, let's reload this one, right click, open this live server. Okay, we will get something like this. So we need to use Tailwind to style this HTML element to look like this navbar. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, I, I need container. Okay, we need container when we look at over here. We need container. Let's take a look. Container. We need container class to make uh, our layout be responsive and look uh, better on any web browser. Okay, let's use container to cover all of this element. Okay, let's put div class container. Okay, we put container, there is nothing changed. But if we put a background color to navbar, so actually the navbar doesn't have a background color, but I just want to put it on navbar to make you see a better picture about uh, Tailwind. Okay, let's put BG background. And then if you hit uh, control and space, you will see color down below. And you can choose like purple or oh, blue i'm just going to use blue 800 you will see now about over here so i just want uh, these to sit side by side i want logo and a menu to sit side by side so i put flex over here so it's side by side right now 
and we need uh, the home button course block about to be row or to sit side by side so we can specify flick over here see it's in one row and then we need the space between datamin and menu so we put justify between okay this is the a container, the end of the container box. So I just want the container box to be at the center. So in container over here, I just put MX auto to make container at the center. You will see the container at the center right now when you zoom in. I just need padding inside the container. Okay, I put padding, padding uh, X axis equal uh, two. Okay, this should be good. This look good and I need padding Y axis in navbar as well. So I'm going to put Y equal 4 Y axis is padding Y axis to so get something like this. So I need the space between menu is menu so I can use space X space X axis 4. So you will see the space between this menu. All right, this look good. So let's take a look. So what else we need? We need uh, this logo to look like this. Actually, it's just uh, other font. So I just want to make uh, this Deptamin logo bigger. So I can use class. And then I put text. Text is means text. So it's the class relates to text. We use text and dash and then just put uh, the size. I can put 3XL over here. is go bigger and this one I just want this uh, menu to be bigger as well so I put tags maybe LG so the tags will go bigger will be bigger okay so we need to change the font of this uh, logo Okay, what can we do? So let's take a look at over here, font, family. Okay, just click over here. So this is how you add font family. So because Figma support Google font, so we are going to get this font in, in Google font. This font's called Pacifico. Okay, let's take a look at Google font. No, just search for the font over here. Per C Figo. Okay, just click on over here. Just click and then click and select this font and copy this one. Okay. And then you have to put is over here to add font, Google font to your web template. Okay. And this is how to add font in CSS, but the document show you this is how you can add fonts to Tailwind. You just copy this code, okay. And then you come here and then you uh, go to tailwindconfig.js and in extension you just paste the code that you copy. And, and when you look over here you see the font name. I'm going to copy this one and put it inside this bracket okay and we need double code over here so I'm going to change this one to be Pacifico I'm not sure how to pronounce it all right this should be good so you can use the font you can change the font of Deptamin over here by typing font then Pacifico over here Okay, this look good and let's take a look in our website again. Why it doesn't change? So let's take a look at the compiles. What's wrong with this? Oh, you have to, you see there is an error when we first add the font. So we have to recompile uh, recompile this code. So we can use this 
code to recompile Tailwind CSS because there is an error. There was an error. Okay, and, and let's save again and let's see if there is error. No. Yeah, you will see the local change. All right. All right, this video we have learned how to create navbar. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to create this banner.